Hello friends. In this video, we will see some of the properties of fluids which are commonly used. So here are properties of fluids. I'll start with the first property that is called as density or it is also called as mass density. Mass density. So what is meant by density? Here I write the definition. It is defined as the ratio of mass of fluid to the volume of fluid. So here is the definition that mass density or simply it is called as density. It is defined as the ratio of mass of fluid to the volume of fluid. So therefore mathematically the term density it is denoted by rho it's equal to the mass of fluid which will be in terms of kg divided by the volume of fluid this will be in terms of meter cube so hence density which is denoted by rho it is equal to mass upon volume and the unit we have it is kg per meter cube next density for standard liquid and standard liquid will be water for us so i'll write down there for density of water it is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube this is the standard or we can say the reference liquid so this was regarding the mass density that is it is defined as the ratio of mass of fluid to the volume of fluid the next property that is called as weight density it is defined as the ratio of weight of fluid to the volume of fluid so here is the definition of weight density in mass density it was mass upon volume that is it was the ratio of mass of fluid to the volume of fluid here we have the ratio of weight of fluid to the volume of fluid and mathematically it can be written as weight density it is denoted by a small w that is equal to weight of fluid capital w divided by the volume of fluid which is denoted by v so therefore weight density becomes weight upon volume unit will be weight in terms of newton volume is in terms of meter cube so newton per meter cube or if the weight is in terms of kilo newton so it is kilo newton per meter cube next we can even write down weight density as since w is equal to weight can be written as m into g that is mass into acceleration due to gravity upon volume because we know that weight is equal to m into g now as we see here this term m upon v that is mass upon volume is nothing but density rho so therefore we have the relation that weight density or you can say that it is also called as specific weight 
it is equal to rho into g that is mass density into acceleration due to gravity so here we have one more relation between weight density and mass density and this w this weight density term it is also called as specific weight so if anywhere in the question they are mentioning that we have to calculate or if they give the value of specific weight specific weight is nothing but weight density of a fluid now here i can say that therefore weight density of water because we are considering water as the standard liquid so weight density of water that is equal to since rho value for water it is 1000 g is 9.81 so 1000 into 9.81 that gives me 9810 newton so this is the weight density of water so as we have seen the previous two definitions mass density it was mass upon volume weight density it is weight upon volume the next property it is called as specific volume now specific volume it is defined as the ratio of of volume per unit mass so we have another property that is specific volume which is defined as the ratio of volume per unit mass and hence mathematically it can be written as specific volume it is denoted by a small letter v is equal to the ratio of volume per unit mass so it is volume of fluid upon mass of fluid so therefore specific volume is volume upon mass and the unit will be since we have volume upon mass so it is meter cube per kg that's the unit if we see here density was mass upon volume and specific volume is volume upon mass so we can say that therefore specific volume is nothing but the reciprocal of mass density one more relation we get here so this is the specific volume the next property that is called as specific gravity now specific gravity it is defined as the ratio of weight density of liquid to the weight density of standard liquid and standard liquid we are taking it as water so here is the definition specific gravity it is defined as the ratio of weight density of liquid to the weight density of standard liquid that is water and mathematically this relation can be written as specific gravity it is denoted by a small letter s it's equal to weight density of liquid to the weight density of standard liquid here we are considering water so if for any given liquid we know the value of specific gravity and we know the value of weight density of water then we can get the value of weight density of that particular liquid now this weight density since here i have written weight density term then specific gravity will also be equal to it is also s is equal to mass density of liquid 
अपॉन मास डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर वाई आई हैव रिटर्न दिस इज दैट बिकॉज सिंस वेट इज इक्वल टू मास इन टू एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी देर फॉर वी नो द रिलेशन फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन से दैट द वेट डेंसिटी विच वी हैव गॉट प्रीवियसली वेट डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू रो इन टू जी दैट इज If I write instead of weight density of liquid, rho into g for liquid upon rho into g for water, then g g will get cancelled out, and here we have the formula of mass density of liquid, which is rho upon the density of water. So g gets cancelled out from both the sides. So in short, we can say that specific gravity can be written. in both the form in the form of mass density in the form of weight density specific gravity is weight density of a particular liquid upon weight density of water which is the standard liquid specific gravity can also be written as mass density of a liquid divided by mass density of water so i have written it here suppose for example the mass density of a liquid we know that specific gravity specific gravity is denoted by letter s now mass density of liquid as mercury if i am considering the liquid to be mercury then i can say that s for mercury it is equal to 13.6 that is the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 it means it is 13.6 times heavier than that of water because the mass density of water will be 1000 but the mass density of liquid if i am considering mercury it will be 13600 so the specific gravity for mercury is 13.6 so once we know the relation between mass density we can get the value of specific gravity so in this video we have seen some properties which are commonly used in fluid mechanics we had started with mass density then weight density specific volume and now specific gravity i hope everything is clear